Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to build a mating nuke. Uh, one of the mating nukes that you see over on uh, Barnyard Bees. And I'll put a link to their YouTube channel uh, in the show more below the video. This is Jed from Nature's Policy. Uh, first thing we need to do is to get us a 1 by 12 by 8 That's what this is here. And then uh, first thing you need to do is to cut you two sides that are... 19 and 3 quarter in length so that's what I'm going to do now I'm gonna go ahead and make two nucleuses so I'm gonna cut four sides and again the measurement is going to be 19 and 3 quarter okay so just so you can see the measurement 19 and 3 quarter that's the fourth mark back from the 20 inch mark in case you don't know how to read a tape measure just for those that are, don't work with wood so 19 and 3 quarters, so you're going to need two of those. I did four of them because I'm going to make two nucleuses. So you need two sides per nucleus or per uh, queen wearing nucleus, that is. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut uh, the front and the back, which if you go with... Uh, uh, barnyard bees... They're two different measurements. I'm going to make both of mine uh, the same, uh, but you can you can go ahead and do it barnyard bees way if you want to do it that way. But I'm going to go ahead and make mine the same, and so mine are going to be three and a quarter inches. So we're going to take and cut two of the three and a quarter inches out of the what's remaining of the board here, and I'll get back. Okay, so there's my four pieces. Again, you're only going to need two, and. Uh, Go ahead and let you see that three and a quarter mark. That's the fourth mark from the three. Three and a quarter. Okay, you only need two of those. I've got four because I'm making two nucleuses. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the migratory top, which is going to be... Uh, 24 inches long so I'm gonna go ahead and cut two of those and I'll get back with you okay so I only cut one but I want you to see that it is uh, 24 inches or two foot and I'm only cutting one because I can get two out of one board they're only gonna be five and a half inches uh, wide so we can get two of them out of the one board the next thing we need to do is cut the bottom which is going to be 21 inches and it's only four and three quarter wide okay <clears throat> the video went out on me but anyway that's our top and we can get two of them out of the one one by twelve so just cut it two foot and then I'll get two of them out of that board and the next piece is uh, 21 inches this is going to be the bottom board and again we can get two of them out of one board so we just need one of those and we'll go ahead and mark it as bottom so we know what we got when we go to do everything. And then the only other thing we got are the handles. And the handles are going to be about four and three quarter in length and two inches wide. So we'll just get that out of some scraps. But you'll need two of them uh, for one, uh, one nuke or one two frame box. And again, those are going to be four and three quarter in length. And you will need two of them per box okay so I got two of them four and three quarter I can get two out of each of these so that'll give me all four of the ones I need again you only need two if you're doing uh, one box okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these four sides and you'll have two sides if you're making if you're making one you'll have you'll have two of these and we're gonna rip them down to uh, 10 and 3 quarter okay I'm gonna use the table saw guys because I'm pressed for time but you can use uh, just a regular circular saw and rip your board I said 10 and 3 quarter but it should be 10 and 1 quarter so let me just show you that that's to the inside of the blade 10 and 1 quarter to the inside of the blade from the fence so 10 and a quarter 10 and 1 quarter that's what you're gonna rip them I'm gonna go ahead and rip them down and remember when you rip them down you want to take out any bad sides so like this one here I'll be taking that knot 
completely out of it I'll rip it this way and take the knot out so just remember that when you go to uh, to cut your boards is you want to you want to get rid of any uh, bad spots that are in your board make sure our blade is up high enough and then we'll go ahead and cut these rip these down so your side pieces you're gonna rip your side pieces down to ten and one quarter okay so here's your side piece at 19 and three quarter you're gonna rip those down to ten and a quarter so you're gonna have ten and a quarter on your on your height or on your width okay so I got them all ripped down to uh, ten and a quarter again that's the fourth mark from the number so ten and one quarter on the rip 19 and three quarter on the length now these are your side pieces okay now on your front and backs remember that your front and backs are three and a quarter wide if I get that for you so there's your three and a quarter they're three and a quarter wide but they're nine and a half uh, on the height so we need to set from the guard to the inside of the blade nine and a half to the inside of that blade. Okay. So nine and a half is what we rip the front and the back down to. Now if you're gonna do it the way that Barnyard Bees does it, you're gonna have to watch his video because he's got different measurements from the front and the back because he puts a little slot at the bottom of the front for the bees to go in and out of. Now me, I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna put a hole like you have over there in that, uh, that bee trap this worm trap I'm gonna put me a hole in mine uh, that's how I'm gonna do mine now it doesn't matter you can do it either way guys I mean it, it really doesn't matter I just this is how I'm going to do it so nine and a half inches is gonna be our rip on the front and back pieces that are three and a quarter wide I'm gonna go ahead and rip those down okay so there's our three and a quarter and we are nine and a half on the front and back pieces three and a quarter by nine and a half next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rip the uh, migratory top and remember your migratory top is the 24 inch piece and we're going to rip the 24 inch piece down to five and a half inches and so like I said I can get two out of one uh, because we're dealing with a one by twelve which is eleven and a quarter wide so we'll barely be able to get it but we'll be able to get it let's go ahead and rip those down again the rip is five and a half inches so we'll just set this up real quick to five and a half There you have it, five and a half to the inside of the blade. Five and a half inches to the inside of the blade. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rip those. Remember, that's your 24 inch piece. That's your top, 24 inches. The 21 inch is the bottom. So five and a half inches on your 24 inch piece. I'll be right back. You can see that we're at 24 inches on the length. And you got, let's see here, get in a better position for you. I'll just do it this way. Give you more daylight. Five and a half inches on the, on the rip. And again, you can get two of them if you have a one by 12. The next one that we're gonna do is the bottom. And on the bottom, uh, remember your bottom's 21, in 21 inches long. And your bottom's going to be four and three quarter of an inch on the rip. Four and three quarter inch on the rip. Okay, so there we are, four and three quarter to the inside of the blade. Four and three quarter. Okay. Okay, so you got 21. 
Hang on one second. 21 inches by four and three quarter. Four and three quarter. Again, four four marks back from the five. Okay. Those are going to be your bottoms. And I'll just go ahead and mark them with a B. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rip the handles down. And remember that your handles were uh, four and three quarters wide. And we're going to rip them down to two inches. And you'll need two of those per box. So I'm going to have four of them. So we're ripping them down to two inches. Four and three quarter by two inches. Okay, so there they are. Let me get my tape measure worked out here. So you got four and three quarter by two inches. Okay, those are going to be your handles. Again, you need two of them per box. Okay, so now we're going to assemble them. And I'm just going to use a stapler, guys. Uh, you can use a T-nailer. I'm using a stapler. And I'm using an inch and a quarter on the length. Um, what you do is you take your bottom. Remember, we marked it with a B. So, bottom board. <clears throat> and what happens is your side pieces go just like that flush them to the back end flush them to this end and then you'll have a gap on this part which is the landing board uh, for the bee to land on uh, but they go just like that they go flush on the outer edge just like that and flush to the back okay so just like that and your other one will go just like that on that edge and that's it it's just a very narrow so you go flush on this edge and flush on this edge and you just got a very narrow slot easiest way to do that is to just take your side pieces get them to stand up so they're standing up and then just lay your top on it I mean your bottom on it flush it to one end and, uh, and flush it on this side right here and then staple it down. I'm not going to be able to show you because I can't do it one handed but basically I'll just shoot it right there. Boom, 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 boom all the way down it. Now I'm not going to glue mine. I know a lot of people like to, to glue them but again the bees make their own glue with propolis which is also very healthy for you. Uh, but anyways, I'll go ahead and nail this together guys so you can see how it's going together and then uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, so you can see where I nailed it. And again, this will be the landing board. Let me flip this over. So you guys can get a look at how it, how it is. See how I nailed it? Again, the, the side of this is flush with the side of the bottom board. Flush in the back. Okay. And then you got that. Which you got your landing board here. Now... You're, now I'm going to put the back piece on. Let me let me get that real quick. Okay, so here's my front and my back piece. Again, they're going to go in between there. Let's see if I can do this one-handed or not. It'll be just like that. And you'll have a three-quarter reveal right here because that's what your, uh, your frame's going to sit on. I'll show you that here in a minute. But that's, that's how it's going to be. You just flush it with this edge here. Just flush the edge with the edge. You'll have a three-quarter reveal. Now, the reason he makes his his front uh, shorter, and it's three-quarter inches shorter, okay? Three-quarter inches shorter than what we cut these is because he leaves a gap. He leaves a three-quarter inch gap down at the bottom right there. Let me see if I can get that in there. He leaves a, he leaves a three-quarter inch gap down here. So you just take your three-quarter inch board, set it there, and then put your board in. Uh, I've made mine the exact same, so mine will go all the way down, and I'm going to go ahead and drill me a hole before I put this together. I'm going to drill me a hole right here, which is where the bees will go in and out instead of here. They'll land here, and then they'll climb up and go into the hole. That's how I'm going to do mine. And so, if you're not going to do it my way, and you're going to do it Barnyard Bee way, which is fine with me. I mean, absolutely fantastic. I mean, he's the one that came up with the concept to start with. Then you're going to want your front piece to be three quarters less, and you're going to set it on a... You're going to put a board down there on the bottom 
that's three quarter inches thick and then slide it down on there that way it's still three quarters down from the top up here but again i'm not doing mine that way mine will be the same front and back and then your uh your frames will sit on, on these and i'll show you that here in a minute but let me go ahead and drill me a hole out real quick uh i'm gonna go inch and a quarter and then i'll be right back with you Okay, so I went ahead and drilled the hole out so you can see what it would look like. Looks like a little birdhouse now, right? Okay, so that's how I'm doing mine. Like I said, it doesn't doesn't matter. You can do it either way. And then your frames. Let me just throw them in there real quick. Your frames will sit on on those lips. Okay, and that'll keep it below your your top. Okay, let me grab the uh, handles and then I'll show you how to put those on okay also just so you see how I stapled it all I just stapled it right along each side and I did the same thing in the back okay no difference and you can staple it up from the bottom as well if you want to come up from the bottom in, into that you can do that as well let me go ahead and take the frames out of there okay now your side pieces these little pieces all you're gonna do is you're gonna flush it with the top and and on the on the side on the uh, side edge right here okay so just right like that so that it's flush on the side and flush up here on the top and that's it that's all you do with your handles on, on both both sides okay I'm gonna go ahead and nail them on and I'll I'll come back and show okay so there's the side pieces just to show you they just nailed this on right on the edge like that front and back Okay, and then again your frame will just sit right in there just like that and then your top just lays right on top okay don't even have to nail it don't have to do anything with it it's just there to protect it and again you can take it off remember a feeder will sit on top of all this up on the top there's a feeder system that goes on top that'll be a different video uh, all that's left now guys is just basically sand it if you need to sand it caulk it if you need to caulk it whatever you want to do and then make sure you get your paint on it uh, in this case I'm not going to use uh, my normal thing which is resin which will make it last year after year after year uh, with these I'll just go ahead and paint them and be done with them exterior paint and that's it so hopefully this will help you out guys and uh, remember to get in the word stay in the word and get the word in you it's probably the most important thing you can do in life especially as the times begin to change and if you don't know what i'm talking about you can go check out my other youtube channel the growing awareness uh, to get the latest on what's going on in the world and the changes that are coming evil and wickedness are being done away with on the earth okay guys i'll talk with you guys later i love you guys seriously love everyone